Once you've downloaded the DEC support installer, you'll run through the installation and make sure it's pointing to the correct data directory. You'll see that I have a DEC support that's added over here, so now maybe I want to add one on this beam. I'll go ahead and hide this handrail for later on. I can do my component add and add in my deck support. For now, I'm going to leave this at none for my breakpoints, but I could break it at my joists and beams, and I can manually break it. I do have an option of wide flange channel angle HSS. My toe direction will be out. And I'll come back to the table up above and my setback since there's no break point this doesn't apply to that. I have my minimum support length of my deck support and then my offset from center line is negative an inch and a quarter. That'll be from the heel for my angle and for my channel and then I have my weld settings. Now if I come in here and measure, you'll see that it's an inch and a quarter from my center line to the heel of that angle. So now let's say I do want to add in some breaks for the deck support. I'll do my component add again. I can break it with beams and joist members. If I had other members, then it just wouldn't select those. I can select it with a box or I can select by holding down my shift key. You'll see up above now, there is a table filled out. Now that there have been breaks added and it will come from my left end distance and if I want to add in my own break I can go ahead and add in a row I could also add a point and manually pick the point but I will go ahead and manually put in let's say at eight foot but if I don't want that I can delete the row I don't want to hit the erase table or I'll erase the entire table Now my setbacks, my left setback from point and right setback from point apply. And in my additional options, the add left end support material and add right end support material will come back to. So you'll see that they are now broken. And when I talked about the four inches, I can go ahead and measure. And that's four inches on either side. If it is off a little bit, then you will want to come back in and look at the round to the nearest. I do have that set at a half inch. Now coming into the add left end support material. So if I uncheck that from that left break, I can take that material off. I can also do it from my right end support material. In this case, I'll just turn it back on. So now I can also add in, I could do manual points, but maybe I want to break it at these beams, but I also want to break it at the center of the beam. So I can go in and add it. And then the third option is to both. So there's beams and joists, there's both. So I will select the beams or joists that I want it to break at, and then I will select the point manually that I want to break it at. And now you'll see not only is the column for the left end distance filled out, but also on the right side, the angle is filled out since these are skewed beams framing in. I'll go ahead and turn in change my toe direction and I'm going to just take an offset off for here. 
I did leave it at four inches on either side. Now it might look like that's a little bit more than four inches, but it's actually where that beam, if that material were to intersect with the other beam, that's where it's reading from. And then just to show a couple more examples really quick, I can add this on a sloping beam. I'll just hit none for here. And then I can also add it to a web normal beam as well if my members web normal. These are shop welded. So if I did want this to be its own member, I would want to break it apart. And just to point out too, these are added on the material length, not the work point. And I added in a channel here just to show a different section size. And then I'll just show the detail really quick of this. I want to detail with the templates. And then I have my angle called out there. And then it will also say it's center. And I would probably want to add in a top view. The last thing to cover is that there are settings for these defaults. If I go into my project settings, my plugin default and component for the deck support, there is a difference between the edit window and the deck support. It would be the custom color for the material color and the material finish, but you can change a case-by-case -case basis if you were to edit the material.